Yes! Let's go! Why are we- Yo! Let's go! Let's, there's no way we're getting this lucky so far. Yes, dude! We've gotten three DLC weapons that we did not have in this game, in this video. Alright guys, quickly before this video starts, I want to go ahead and answer a question that yes, indeed, this is a sock on my microphone. I've literally seen this question like five times on my last two videos, so I just want to go ahead and say yes, this is a sock. It's used as a pop filter, so don't make fun of me for it. And the second thing is that I've actually hidden a picture of a pineapple somewhere in this video. I'm not telling you where, but it only lasts for a little more than one and a half seconds. So if you're able to find it, let me know that you did find it down there in the comment section, but don't say the time. I want to see how many people are actually able to claim that they found it. But you know, if you really don't care, then you can obviously leave the time and see if anyone else can actually spot it in the frame that you actually specified in the comment. But hopefully you guys will have fun looking forward. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I already know what you guys are going to say. Hannes, you spend so much money on supply drops. Why on earth are you doing another video? And I have to tell you guys, this is something that's brand new in the black market right now that I'm pretty intrigued by that honestly may help me get all the rest of the DLC weapons that I currently do not have as of right now in Black Ops 3. So if you guys don't know, in the Black Ops 3 black market right now, it's going to be available for the next 24 hours plus 16 hours. So what is that? 40 hours. We're going to be able to have a bundle of no duplicate rare supply drops, which means for a little bit more COD points, you can actually get a bundle of rare supply drops that won't give you any duplicates for anything that you already have on your account, which means that because I've already opened up so much stuff within Black Ops 3, I might be able to get the three or maybe four DLC weapons that I do not have as of right now within BO3. And I'll go over those quickly with you guys as of right now. Also, if you guys didn't know, Call of Duty World War II just got announced as the official Call of Duty for 2017. So drop a like if you guys are hyped for that. I'm extremely excited for the reveal that's going to be on Wednesday of this week. You guys are watching this on Sunday. I'm recording it Saturday night. So get hyped for that. Drop a like if you're excited for Call of Duty World War II. And just drop a like in this video. Let's see if we can hit 500 likes. That'd be pretty dope. And without further ado, let me show you guys exactly what I have right now. So if we head over here to the SMGs, you guys can see I got every single one. Head over here to the assault rifles. I do not have the M16, but I have every single other one. Shotguns we got, LMGs we got, snipers we got. Let's go over to the melee weapons. We do not have the Marshall 16s. We have the launcher. The only melee weapon that we don't have is the Raven's Eye, and then we don't have the Ballistic Knife. So that's Ballistic Knife, the Raven's Eye, the Marshall 16s, and the M16. So that's four DLC weapons that we do not have that hopefully we'll be able to get out of today's supply drop opening. So if I go over here back to the black market, you guys can see that it costs 2,000 COD points for 10 rare supply drops that won't give you any duplicates and we have 5,000 COD points on our account right now. So let's see if we can go ahead and get out of these. Drop a like if you guys are hyped for it. Like I said, 500 likes is our goal. Thank you all so very much for the support in the videos these last couple days and I don't want to waste your guys' time anymore. Let's just get right into it. So let's spend 2,000 COD points. Hopefully this won't take too much time to redeem. You guys know sometimes Black Ops 3 is a little bit slow in the black market with actually getting these to us, but uh, hopefully it won't take too long. A few moments later. All right, so after about 60 hours of waiting, we're finally back here with 20 no duplicate bundles of rare supply drops. Let's go ahead and open up the very first one right now. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to get something really good out of this. Okay, so we just got the prestige camo for the dragon. In all honesty, though, this is something that's just starting to cross my mind. What if this is something that only won't give you any duplicates for like DLC weapons and not actually DLC camos? If that's the case, then that would really trigger me. If this is just overall duplicates, like it won't give you anything new that you actually don't already already have and this is amazing because if you buy like enough of these like you could theoretically have every single item in the game literally in no time if you had enough money to actually spend on getting every single one of these things. We about to get something? Okay, we got two epics, which is actually pretty epic if I do say so myself. But you guys know we're looking for those four DLC weapons that we don't have. The Ballistic Knife, the Raven's Eye, the M16, and the Marshall 16. So hopefully we'll be able to get one of those. But we got a double epic, so we really can't be too disappointed about that. We're at least getting a little bit of supply drop of uh, luck here. Let's keep on going. Calling cards? Nobody really cares about calling cards. I honestly, you guys probably saw like a couple of days ago, they had like a calling card bundle thing where you could like not get any duplicates of um, you know calling cards that you already had in your account. That's so dumb. Nobody would want that. Literally, if you spend any money on that, shame on you. I don't know why you would. I mean, you know, shame on me for spending money on this sort of stuff too. But still, this is at least something a little bit cooler. We're already like six supply drops into this thing and we haven't gotten anything yet as far as DLC weapons go. Let's see what we can get out of this. So we saw that epic come up pretty, pretty late there. So that's actually a little bit of 
of the good signs. Maybe we'll be surprised here with a DLC weapon coming up that we won't actually be expecting. We kind of keep it our eyes on the, the flashing supply drops here. Hopefully, nothing will be able to get by us. I'm really, really praying for the M16, the Raven's Eye, the Ballistic Knife, or the Marshall 16s. Either one of those weapons would be fantastic. We're going to be able to do two sets of these 20, so a total of 40 supply drops, and then we're just going to have a leftover 1,000 COD points that we'll just go ahead and use on regular supply drops, I guess. But we're already 10 into this, and we haven't gotten any DLC weapons. We're seeing the epic Argus Flash, which as you guys know, doesn't get us anything good and literally nothing. You know, it's kind of funny too. I haven't done one of these formal supply drop openings in such a long time, but it kind of feels good to do again, just, you know, to see everything come up on screen here. Supply drop openings are always fun. You know, it's kind of like gambling and it's always fun to, you know, be able to actually share the experience with you guys of getting something really beast out of a supply drop. I was kind of wondering what that was. It almost looked like an extended mag attachment for a second there when I saw it flashing. I'm not really sure. We got the ritual camo for the ICR, which is an epic camo. So that's actually pretty cool. But the ICR is a weapon that that I don't usually use too often, so I'm not really too, too hyped about that. Literally couldn't care less about camos for the XM53. We're actually pretty close to getting that Dark Matter, which is pretty cool. We're getting a couple of attachment variants, which, you know, they are cool. They allow you to spice up your weapon, make it look a little bit different. But <gasps> yes, <laughs> let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got the Marshall 16s out of a supply drop. Let's go, dude, that's super clutch. So that's one of the DLC weapons that we don't have. So now we're actually down to three DLC weapons, the M16, the Raven's Eye and the Ballistic Knife. We've got one already, that's perfect. And we haven't even tapped in to the second round of the 20 rare supply drops with no duplicates. That's amazing, dude. Drop a like for that, guys. This automatically shows that we're gonna be getting good luck in this thing. Hopefully, if you guys drop a like right now, that'll actually increase your chances of getting something good later on in this. Huh, and see, clearly not enough of you guys drop a like in the video. That's that's clearly what that shows. We've got three more left in this little set right here. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky with something coming up. If not, we obviously have the second set and then we'll have a thousand COD points at the very end to uh, to use up as well. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to you guys too if my voice sounds a little bit raspy. I just got back from a Frisbee tournament this weekend and we had four games today. I had to wake up at 5 a.m., got back around 6, had to, you know, eat, chill, start some laundry. Now I'm recording a video for you guys. I'm telling you, the grind never stops, but I was like doing a lot of yelling and stuff, obviously. So as my voice sounds a little raspy, I apologize for that. But that was the very first set of the 20 bundle. Let's go ahead and do another one. We're gonna have to wait another 60 years for this. One eternity later. All right, guys, we're back. Opening up the very first supply drop here in the second round. Let's see if we'll get anything good off the bat. Maybe, possibly. I thought that might've been the M16, dude. Could you imagine if we got that weapon right off the bat? That would've been phenomenal. But it's another epic camo for the ICR. Why are we, <gasps> yo, let's go. That's, there's no way we're getting this lucky so far. We actually just got the Raven's Eye. Holy crap, so now we're down two DLC weapons. Literally, we've gotten two that we didn't have at the beginning of this video, and now we only have two left. We have the M16 and the Ballistic Knife. Those are the only two DLC weapons that we do not have. We have the Raven's Eye and the Marshall 16s already today. Drop a like for that guy. Clearly, if you guys dropped a like, it, it obviously worked there in the second round. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep going. All right, we got the War Torn MR6. Not too, too bad. But if we keep going here, this is, this is like really, really good news. Like, this shows that Treyarch might actually start to be giving me a couple of more supply, like, you know, some good supply drops here. I don't know if you guys caught it in yesterday's video, but I was complaining about how Treyarch literally doesn't seem to give me anything good in, you know, the black market anymore. But it's nice to see a little bit of love. Maybe someone watched the video and was like, you know what, Hennis? We'll, we'll, we'll give you a little bit of something. Someone over at Treyarch was, you know, willing to show the love. I thought for a second I saw, like, an outline of a regular assault rifle, but nah, it's just an epic Argus. And you guys know, the epic Argus is a longtime troll here in the Black Ops 3 black market. If you ever see an epic Argus for flash, by the way, if you're kind of new to Black Ops 3, you see it flash in a supply drop, you kind of see one outline, just know that you're not going to get anything, and it won't be the epic Argus either. It'll be something completely lame that you don't really want, that nobody really cares about, which is kind of cool. Another double epic, we've got the Storm camo for the BMP, pretty dope camo if I do say so myself. I don't think I've actually ever run with that on one of my class setups, ever. We got the Mummy Nomad head theme, dude, I'm really starting to feel my voice right now. Another epic Argus, man, I'm telling you, dude, there's a bunch of trolls over there at Treyarch, I mean, they've already given me two weapons, so please, keep the luck going, but honestly, for future episodes, just at least if you're gonna show me the epic Argus, just give a man the epic Argus, you know? You're just out there teasing me, making me feel bad if you don't give it to me. More extended mag variants, we got a rare, a common. All right, we got six more supply drops here. Hopefully something good, maybe the M16 or the Ballistic Knife, if Treyarch is feeling extra special right now. Maybe it's a KRM or something. I can't call it, the KRM Transgression Camo. Pretty sweet, the Transgression Camo is honestly one of the more dope camos in this game. Not seeing any epics there. We know the M16 and the Ballistic Knife are both epic supply drops, so maybe we'll get one 
one out of that. You know, if we don't see one flash, it's not the end of the world, right? You know, we still got two DLC weapons out of this opening, which was absolutely amazing. So clearly the luck has been with us a little bit here. Hopefully we'll be able to get all the DLC weapons at some point here soon. That would be amazing. If I could have every DLC weapon in Black Ops 3 on my account, that would be so incredibly dope. But we're down to our last two right now. Really, really hoping that we're going to get one right here. And unfortunately not. All right, guys, we're down to our last supply drop here. Drop a like if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and leave a comment down there right now. Pause the video and tell me if you think I'm going to be getting a DLC weapon out of the supply drop right here, right now. And if you predict what it's going to be, I don't know, like I'll thumbs up your comment and pin it, although you could actually fake it as well. So I wouldn't really have any way of knowing, but let's get right into it. Nothing. Okay. So we got trolled yes, uh, yet again. So I'm just looking here now. We do have a rare supply drop that we can purchase in the single pack that costs 300 COD points for just a single no duplicate, but also we can buy it using 60 crypto keys. So that's pretty exciting. Let's go on up uh, and open up these rares here. We'll go ahead and open up three of these with just the, you know, the good old regular COD points. And then we'll move over to the crypto keys and see if we get anything more piece out of that as well. But keep in mind, we can still use some duplicates that we can burn to get even more of these to actually open up here in this episode. It's Yes, dude! Let's go! There's no way we've gotten this lucky so far. We've gotten three DLC weapons that we did not have in this game in this video. The Raven's Eye, the Marshall 16s, and now the Ballistic Knife. The only weapon that we do not have on this account right now is the M16. I don't want to jinx anything, but it could be four DLC weapons in a single supply drop opening. That would be literally insane. So unfortunately, we're going to have another, you know, just an extra 100 COD points hanging out there. But we've got all these crypto keys. Let's go ahead and burn all of these. We're going to keep using them on these, you know, no duplicate supply drops, which are in all honesty are probably the greatest thing that I've ever seen in my life. But you know what I just realized too? If we're using non-duplicates, we're not going to be able to burn anything because there'll be no duplicates to burn if this thing doesn't give us any duplicates. So hopefully it only applies for DLC weapons. If it applies to everything else as well, then we're pretty much screwed. We're not going to have anything to burn, but still a good run while goes Brecky. Brecky monochrome camo, nice. Still a dope camo. So if we can't burn any extra crypto keys, this will be our very last opening right here. Maybe, possibly M16. I'm seeing an epic. I'm seeing it. A KN44. KN44 etching camo, man. Come on. I swear we got teased there. All right, let's see if we got any duplicates to the burn. Only got seven. We got enough for one more rare supply drop, though. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually end up getting lucky here. We, yeah, we can't use this 100 cop points on anything else. We could open up a common. We could open up three commons. And you guys know in a, you know, in a recent live stream that I did, I ended up getting like an ins like a D the PPSH out of a common supply drop for a viewer, which is pretty dope. But let's go ahead and open up this last rare. See if we can get anything from the Treyarch gods themselves. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any epics, so no M16 there. But damn, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go ahead and see this. I have to look at this right now. We just got out of the Assault Rifle cat. No, the Assault Rifle category we did not get anything out of. This was all secondary stuff. So we got one pistol, one melee. So now we have every single melee weapon in the game. And we got the uh, the other special weapon, which was the Ballistic Knife. So that's absolutely insane, guys. Three DLC weapons in one video. Just shy of getting the fourth one to actually complete my entire DLC weapon inventory. But nonetheless, still pretty dope that we were able to get all of those out of these non-duplicates. I gotta tell you guys though, if you have not tried out these non-duplicates, they are definitely worth it. As you can see from this video, you literally cannot go wrong with buying these because you're not gonna get anything extra of something that you already have. So it's literally a win-win. You're paying a little bit extra than you would for a regular rare supply drop, but it's totally worth it in the end because you're not gonna be getting any duplicates. So be sure to take advantage of this by the time you're watching this video. You won't have that much time to go ahead and get them. Hopefully you'll be able to hop on Black Ops 3 and actually buy a couple of them. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to get some DLC weapons that you do not have. But anyways, guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to go ahead and smack a like. That would definitely mean a lot to me. 500 likes is going to be our like goal here on today's video. Be sure to leave a comment down below telling me if you're able to get any awesome DLC weapons out of the non-duplicates in the black market right now. And uh, if you guys watch up to this point in the video, go ahead and comment down below. Hashtag M16. It's the lonely DLC weapon that we did not get in this video. But anyone who watches only up until like three quarters of the way through the video is going to be like, wait a second, why is everyone down there in the comment section commenting hashtag M16? If you didn't get the M16, only you guys will know. But anyways, guys, that is all. I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.